Lastly, um, we have our mechanical losses. So there, there's really three elements to this I, I wanted to consider. We have the internal windage. This is the fact that the motor is not perfectly round and it's gonna create some air resistance in the air gap. And as we increase speed, we're gonna increase our windage losses. And, and we can see that you know, as speed increases, we get this kind of exponential increase. Um, this would be something you need to characterize for your machine because of the geometry. We have bearing friction. Every bearing has a different, or every type of bearing has a different equation for its losses. But again, we get that increase of speed. Um, I won't touch much on this alignment, but if you terribly misalign the machine, that'll also cause parasitic losses. So with that, you might say, well, how can I measure these? Well, you could, you could have an equation that's maybe from your data sheet, um, or you could characterize these losses by spinning the machine unloaded. Neither of these are going to be affected much by loading um, or by torque. So if you just increase that speed and you have a very precise torque measurement system and a very precise speed measurement system, like, like something we'd offer from HBM, um, you could start to characterize these windage and friction losses. And again, really have a curve for that. Have, you know, okay, my speed is 4,500 RPM, my losses are this. You could characterize that curve and then implement that into our software as a sensor. And say so I've got my mechanical loss sensor um, based on speed. So some really interesting stuff you can do that you can implement live or in the post-process into recording the data.